Okay, um, we're gonna do the two experiments actually. We're gonna start with uh, uh, three phase, half wave, uncontrolled rectifier, okay? Which is uh, this circuit, I will demolish it fast. So actually, okay, this one here is my three phase. I'm in, I came from the, from four, five, six, okay? Four, five, six. I came to an AC meter just to see my AC meter. Then I came to a three power diode, okay? A power diode one, two, and three. Then I go out from, uh, I already close a switch right here. It's closed. When I close the switch, I close between those two and those two and also those three right here. So I don't need no wires to connect between the sides. Then I came to the AC, the DC meter, okay? Then I came to the current isolator. Then from the current isolator, I came to the load, which is a resistor. And then I close the circuit to neutral, okay? So we connect uh, three phase, half wave, on control rectifier, we connect to neutral. So line to neutral, okay? Uh, the load, the voltage, I'm gonna put it across the load. By the way, guys, this is only resistive load. No inductive yet. So I'm gonna put the resistive, the voltmeter across the resistive load. And uh, same thing here, the voltage isolator, so I can read the voltage and current. So this is my circuit, only the resistive load without the inductive for the half wave. I'm gonna turn on, okay? I'm gonna give it 90%. Ninety percent. So we tell me if it's ninety percent. Okay, that's ninety percent. So here, I uh, I can see that I have everything. The, the resistive, I think, it should be sixty, right? So sixty. Except this, that's my sixty here. Okay. So I can come here and auto set. Oh, I have to turn this one on. Okay. Okay, this is my uh, my oscilloscope. I can auto set. Okay, then I can see. I can fix. I can make. Uh, I need to make uh, the 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 value of the boxes two and two and two point five two for the voltage for the current and two for the voltage. So I'll make it two also. I'll make it two from here. That's two, two, and that's 2.5. Then I will make everything on the x-axis. So I'm gonna use those here. So I'm gonna put, this is the current in the x-axis. So this is my, my hero. And this one right here, same thing, the blue, which is the voltage. But I need to flip this, so I press this. I press the blue and press this. Press the blue. Okay, now it's okay. I can stop it from there, okay. They're both now in the x-axis. Here, the, the, the arrow is in the x-axis, and this is the volt, the blue, and this is the current. So if I count 6.75 boxes here, one box, two, three, four, five, six, six point seven five boxes, I found three pulses, which is one cycle. So that's that's with the resistive load only. Let's let's see the if I connect the inductive. So here I'll make this one, and I will add. I will turn off. Okay, I will I will take this here. Okay, and then I will come here. I will connect the resistive load with the inductive in series. I should not touch this. Those points one, two, three, four, five, six. Because those are the same points, so I should go to the other side. So now I am reading the inductive and the resistive. Okay, I should, you know, to make sure, hold this and make sure not to touch those when you measure the volt. Okay, let's see here now. I will turn on. I only, I did nothing. I just added the, the inductive, and the value of the inductive is 0.2. So when it's 0.2, the middle one is up, and everything is up. That's okay. Then turn on. Same. I can I can see here, see what will be the change. I will stop. It's the same, but the the current is smoother. 
The current is smoother right here. This is one cycle, the current is smoother. And if I add more inductive, it will be straight. The more inductive we add, the better the DC that we can see here for the current. Because the inductive makes the current more DC and the capacitor, the capacitance makes the voltage uh, better DC, better DC, which is a filter. The capacitor filters the voltage and the inductance filters the current. This is the experiment for the three phase. This is the three phase, this is a circuit here. This is what we have connected right here. And the values you're gonna choose uh, for the resistive is 150. I think it's not 150 here. If I, if I look at, uh, let take the value for 150, uh, 150 is 1200 up, which is this, and everything up and everything is down. That's for the resistor. Okay, so now that's the same, no change, a lot of change because I change the values. Okay, and uh, okay, those are the values. The, the conduction angle will be 120 from here and here. That's the conduction angle, and uh, this is the drawing. This is the final drawing that you need to do. This is two cycles. This is the voltage here. You need to draw, the best way is to draw the, the, the B source, which is with the three phase, A, A, B, and C, and then erase, and then just leave the highest point. And then this is the resistance, with the, this is the, uh, the current with the resistive load, and this is the current with the inductive load, which is clear, that's it, smoother. We're done with half wave. Uh, you, guys, you guys can come watch the six, the full wave. I'm gonna explain it right here while I'm recording. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain the full wave. Okay, so come, come here. Okay. This is guys, let me just repeat for you. Okay, come, come. This is the three phase that you guys just have done now, everybody. And now I will I will connect the this circuit right here. Okay, which is you're gonna do now. This is full uh, three phase. Full, full wave on control rectifier. What would be the difference than this? Very tiny. Okay, I'm gonna turn off. Okay? okay. That's this is the connection. I already explained on the first part. So what will change here? You guys see this that comes to the neutral? This is that was going to the neutral when I close the circuit. Yes. I went to the neutral. I'll take it, I'll remove it from the neutral, guys. I will put it right here. Or right here, it doesn't matter, it's the same, okay? Same point. Okay. Done, this is, that's it. We'll add another thing, but this is, now this. But you can find out that they are asking you to connect two resistive loads in series. Why? Let's see here. If I turn on now, you guys can see that the voltage, look, this is a flipped, this is 200 volt, by the way, see here? It's more, it's 250. That's huge voltage. And if I look at the resistive uh, rated value for the voltage is 120. So this can be damaged, this box, this module. So I need to connect two, 120 plus 120, that's 240. When I, I will put this one just 150, and this is 150. I can, I can use one box, just put 300, right? I can put 300 instead of 150 plus 150, but the issue is what? The voltage is high. Mm. The voltage is high that's applied uh, across those, and it can damage one box. If I use it for a long time, it can be damaged. So in this case, what I will do, I will turn off, and I will come here, okay? I will remove this, and I will bring this here, okay? And uh, you guys see this? It will, they will be all, you can see this one here, they will be all in series, okay? I will just connect this here. I will add this to this one. I will add this box, resistor box, to this resistor box, to the inductive value, and I will come here. Now everything is included, right? Yes. And I already removed this, right? From the neutral, I already removed it too. The now I have six diodes connected. One, two, three, four, five, six. But make sure that this is closed, okay? When you close this one, you connect this with this, 
this diode with this diode, this diode with this diode, and from the bottom. So you close all those switches. You can look at this diode. Now it's done. 90%. I can here run it. Did you guys see the did you guys see the output? You know, the voltage. We cannot see it because it's here. It's the peak is higher now. So what I need to do, I need to bring it down, assume that the negative one is the is the zero, okay? The, for the for the voltage. So I'm gonna bring it down. Here I'm gonna bring the arrow down to the Z to the negative one. See guys? Now I assume that my uh, x-axis is negative one. Same thing with the yellow. I'm gonna assume that it's here. Okay, I will okay. stop. Now see here, guys. Now if I count 6.75 boxes, I can move it to the left. I can count one box, two, three, four, five, six, six point seven five boxes. Let me see how many pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six pulses now. And look at the current. Is it better than before? Yes. yes. It is more the more pulses you have, the more ripples, the better the output, the better DC you will have. Okay? This is for weight. I mean that's what you will do. The equation I explain it. I can I want you to come with me, guys. Especially you. Alright, yes. Um, this is what we explained before. Okay, this is the this is the three phase. Okay. This is the three phase V source. And then to find the V out for the three phase for the three phase uh, for the for the three phase signal uh, half wave, we just erase those and this is your output. But for the for the full wave, for the three phase full wave, the peak will be higher. And I will have this will be explained more. I will explain it more. I will have every, you know I will have each one split it into two. So I will have two here, two pulses. I will have two pulses here. I will have two pulses. So I will have total of six pulses. Okay. And those are the equations. This is the equation for the for the three phase half wave, which is V out DC equals three. Three is for what? Three for the for the three diodes, and this is square root of three. Uh, times V max line to neutral because we connect the circuit to neutral, right? Yes. And divided by two pi, which is one cycle, and we know that V max line to line, same as square root of three V max line to neutral. When it comes to the three phase uh, full wave, instead of three diodes, we have six diodes, right? Mm. But we're not connecting neutral; we're connecting line to line, so we're going to use this part because this is same as this. So we replace this with V max line to line divided by two pi, we cancel the six with the two, we came up with three V max line to line divided by pi. This is the equation, the equation to find V out DC for the three phase full wave uncontrolled rectifier, okay?